In this video, I'll show you how to connect your PC Windows computer to your HP DeskJet 4155E printer. This way you'll be able to print over Wi-Fi and scan as well. So let me show you how to do it. The first step is to open the Microsoft Store on your computer and search in the search bar on the top for HP Smart. Then all you have to do is to download the HP Smart app. While waiting for the app to download, you need to make sure that your printer is turned on. And then with two fingers, one on this X button and the second one on this Wi-Fi button, you're gonna keep pressed until this power button keeps flashing. Okay, it's flashing, now you can release them. You're gonna wait a bit until it stops doing this and this will mean that the printer is in pairing mode, ready to be set up with your computer. Okay, it did it. Now let's go back to the computer. So let's open the HP Smart app. This is the main screen and in my case I already have a printer connected, but if you didn't use the app previously, you'll have a big add printer button right on the top and you need to click on it. If you don't see this button, no problem, or if you have other printers like me, you're just gonna click on this printer icon with a small plus sign. It will search for your printer, you just have to wait a few seconds. You have maybe a list of multiple printers and you should select HP DeskJet 4100 series. Click on the setup button. Then press the continue button. Then here press the no thanks. It's better to enter these informations manually. And enter the Wi-Fi password of your Wi-Fi network, this one. This is my home network. Yours will be obviously different. You just need to enter the password. Once you're done, just press connect. At this point, it will ask you to press the I button on the printer. It's, it's this button over here, you see it says hi, I, just press once on it and that's all. Your computer will continue doing its thing, you just have to wait. Once this is done, you're gonna have the green check mark, then just press continue. While waiting, you may have this screen appearing. It's totally normal. You should have the green check mark at the end and press continue. Once you press continue, you should have the main screen appearing. It should look like this. And to use this printer with your PC or any other devices, you absolutely need to have an HP account and be logged in. It's free to create one and HP obligates you to um, connect if you want to print, to scan, to do anything. In my case, I, I'm already connected to mine, I'm already logged in, but if you didn't do it yet, just by clicking on the top left corner here, you will be able to set up a new account. It just takes a few minutes and you'll be able to use all the features. So how to scan? It's very easy. This printer has two ways of scanning a document. One of them is using this glass scanner. You just have to put a document, a piece of paper here, and align it with this corner. So just push it there then close it. On the computer, you're gonna go and press scan. Then on the right side, make sure that scanner glass is selected. And then depending what you're scanning, you can change these settings. So, you know, if you want it to be in color, the resolution, everything. Once you're done, just press the blue scan button. After a few seconds, you'll have the scan 
and you'll be able to print it if you want to make a copy or to share it or even to save it on this computer. If you want to scan multiple pages, this scanner has a top feeder here. And what I mean by this is that you can actually scan multiple pages. So if you have a document with, I don't know, three, four, ten pages, you can put them all at once. Okay, so just open this flap, glide the documents facing up. You better put them like this, the, the top first and the top of the page entering the scanner, like this. And then on the PC, well, we're going to exit this by pressing this arrow. Yes. Okay, right over here where it says source, you're going to select document feeder. And again, you're going to select different uh, settings here, colors, the resolution. I'll just select 75. This is mostly just to demonstrate to you. And I'll press scan. Now watch what will happen. The printer will take one by one each page without you needed to do anything. You don't have to you don't have to touch the pages, you don't have to push them. It will do it all by itself. And once you're done, you're going to have all the pages appearing. Now, I didn't place them well, but you can always switch them by pressing this button here. Here we go, in case they're upside down. And you'll have all the pages over here. And you, have, you can have many of them, and they'll be combined in one single document. So when you go to save it, over here, you can select, well, PDF in this case, if you want this and give it a new name and click save. Select where you want this to be saved. Let's say I want on the desktop. Save. And when you open the file, all the pages will be in the same document. Now, let me show you how to print. It's very easy. So before even starting to do anything, make sure you have paper loaded inside of your printer over here. Okay. And that this paper tray is open. Now on your computer, you're going to go over here. If you want to print a picture, print photo or print documents. If it's just a document with some text or even some graphics, press OK. And now select the document on your computer that you like to print and press print. It will give you a quick preview of what the print will look like. And now make sure over here that under printer, it's the HP DeskJet 4100 series that it's selected. In my case, it's not. So I'm gonna click here. Mine is over here. It's the last one, HP DeskJet 4100 series selected. And then you're gonna have to change these settings if they're not what you wish. In my case, it's perfect. I'll just press the print button when I'm ready. And the printer will do its job. Here we go. So this is what we just printed. So I hope this video was useful. This is how you connect your PC over Wi-Fi to your HP DeskJet 4155E. Please leave a like. Write a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.